Hey everybody, Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel. It's another humid day down here in Florida where you sweat for no reason whatsoever. I'm heading over to my neighbor's house. He's got a huge woodworking shop in his garage and he came by the other day and asked if I had any use for any logs. He's got logs sitting behind his barn that are just going to waste. So today he invited me over to help him mill some of that lumber and I plan on using it in the greenhouse. So today we're going to learn how to use a portable sawmill. Lewis, hey. <laughs> what's happening? Not too much, man. Just cutting some logs. Wow. Look at that pile of... You must have been cutting all night and day to get that much sawdust. <laughs> wow. Oh, my yesterday. gosh. That's beautiful. Just from yesterday. Whoa. Luis has got a YouTube channel, too. What is, what's the name of it? Well, it's in Portuguese. It's, it's in Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, he's got a Portuguese YouTube channel. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's called uh, Re... Começar, you know, uh, it's like you might have to spell that. <laughs> yeah, it's restart, it's restart, re restart. I'll put a link so if you guys yeah. want to check them out. So this is a bandsaw, and how big can that cut? That looks what about 20 inches. The widest you can cut is 21. 21. From like from side to side. Yeah. The log itself, it can be up to 26 inches. Okay. I didn't even consider this, but we're working with pine, so I've got all the tar and pitch on my hands. And all my camera equipment's gonna get real sticky today. So, <laughs> before we do the next log, we're clearing off the tracks of the sawdust so the mill can push a little bit easier. So, this, this adjusts your height, right? Yep. Yeah, this, is, this controls the height of the, of the blade, and you can tell by right here, if you wanna lower an inch, half inch, quarter, whatever. You just, you know, raise it or lower the blade. Before you start going, you turn on the water so it lubricates the, the blade. And then there's the accelerator. You just press on this and just saw it up. That's how it works.
That's some beautiful stuff right there. Luis gave his daughter Isabella a job to measure the width of all these boards and find out the linear feet that we have if we stacked all the boards side by side. You can see what Luis did here on his barn and this is what I want to do over at the greenhouse. Seventy-two. That's inches. One thousand one hundred sixty-three divided by, by 12. twelve. Ninety-six Well, we got over 100 linear feet of wood to use on the greenhouse, thanks to Luis. Thank you very much. You're welcome, That was friend. fun. Yeah. I appreciate it. That's cool to see how a sawmill works. I've never got to use one before, so that was definitely awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, and uh, just so you guys know, it is in Portuguese. My channel, my main the channel is mainly in Portuguese, but I am going to make videos in English as well for the American folks yeah. uh, so just stay tuned and uh, you, you'll get good uh, good info there awesome all right <laughs> thank you bye bye